Hey guys, welcome to my next video. So the other fragrance I'm going to be reviewing today is the Lilac Love by Amouage. So it's a fragrance for women and I actually got it, I got a 2ml sample in this little box here. So this is the, uh, what's it called? A discovery box, that's what it's called. So this discovery box is for the Secret Garden collection and you've got their four fragrances from the Secret Garden collection in here um, as a sample format. So you've got 2 mils. Of each of those fragrances so this actually came complimentary with my order um, when I placed an order on Amwaja's website in November as part of their Black Friday deal so that was really really good because the price value of this is about 35 or 40 pounds so you know where to go for this year's Black Friday if you want to purchase an Amwaja fragrance so today I'm just going to be reviewing one of the fragrances which is the purple one and it's called Lilac Love so I'm just going to take the sample out so that is how the sample is, you've just got the logo all the way around, you've got the logo, the name of Amouage and then you've got the name of the fragrance, don't know if you can see it, but you've got the name of the fragrance there. So this is Lilac Love for Women, it was launched in 2016 and is part of the Secret Garden collection, it's a modern and romantic floral scent. So the top notes in this fragrance are Heliotrope, Lilac, Gardenia, Peony, Jasmine and Rose, the mid notes are Cacao, Tonka Bean and Oris. And the base notes are vanilla, sandalwood and patchouli. So from the first spray, it instantly took me back to a fabric shop in all parts of Dubai. And not because it smells like fabric, but because this is a common smell that is used in fabric shops in the all parts of Dubai. So if you've been to those fabric shops in the all parts of Dubai, you will know what I'm talking about when you smell this. The scent itself at first really reminds me of the sweets called Fizzes by Squizzles. I don't know if any of you have heard of those or seen them or eaten them, but I used to eat them a lot when I was a kid and I still see them around these days. Um, so it's like a sweet, slightly powdery scent. And then after 10 minutes, it starts to change to a floral scent with like lavender, peony and jasmine. Again, this progressed a lot quicker on my skin, but honestly, the first impression is that this is one beautiful spring scent. It can also be worn in the summer, but it's definitely not for the colder weather. It's suitable for all age women though. So after about two hours, you start to feel the tonka bean and the oris in the background, but the floral notes are definitely more dominant. And it still gives like hints of the fizzes, so it's not overly sweet or fizzy. It's actually more powdery at the two hour mark. I think it's so well balanced actually, that it's quite relaxing for a spring day, definitely putting you in a good mood. So the Secret Garden collection is different to the more traditional fragrances by Amouage and when you think of like Secret Garden collection you'll automatically think that there's um, fragrances suitable for like the spring and summer weather but the quality of this fragrance despite it being different to the normal Amouage fragrances is still really really good. The texture is slightly thick and it projects really really well. I can't say it filled up the room um, but it definitely projects off my skin nicely. So after about three hours, the scent is a powdery floral scent with hints of patchouli and you can start to feel the sandalwood in the background as well starting to come out. After about five hours though, the scent becomes musky but it's still powdery and you can feel light hints of sandalwood still. On my skin, this fragrance lasted approximately six hours with good projection for the first four hours so that's really really good. And just bear in mind though that I wash my arms and my hands quite a bit during the day. And even then, if I say I can smell this fragrance after them, then that's a really, really good fragrance. On my clothes, the scent lasted beyond 12 hours with good projection with good projection for at least 10 hours. But even after this, if I take like my piece of clothing up to my nose, the scent is still quite thick and musky and powdery. It's amazing. And even the next day, if you go and smell your clothes, I could still smell the fragrance. Although it wasn't projecting, obviously, but it's still there. It's still evident. So from the first spray, you can smell it at least two meters away. As I said, it doesn't fill up the room, but it has very good projection from my skin and my clothes. It's definitely become one of my favorite spring scents for women because it performs so well and the scent is just absolutely beautiful. So just quickly, if I had to define the dry down scent in one word for this fragrance, I would call it powdery, floral slash powdery, more powdery though, that's how the texture of the scent feels. So that is the Lilac Love by Amouage. It is a fragrance for women. If you do have any questions about this fragrance, then do drop it in the comments box below. Otherwise, I hope you found this video useful. Next, I am going to be trying out the pink one, which is which is called Blossom Love. So do look out for that review coming soon. Otherwise, if you are new here, then please do subscribe to my channel. And don't forget to like this video, guys. And thank you for your support. And I'll see you guys soon. Thank you.